curved around and came back around. And okay, so I've traveled a hundred meters, accomplished nothing, but I've been wandering aimlessly along in the forest. And I'm wearing a hat now. Okay. So, uh, I know she said that this this place is locked, but I'm going to check it anyways because I think there might be some dead bodies in there. That woodsman kind of seems kind of shifty, letting girls take his hat for no reason. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess it really is locked. She wasn't lying about that. Not sure how she could tell that it was locked just by approaching the campsite, though. And there's red axes on the trees. Apparently the woodsman has decided certain trees to chop down. And, um, yeah. Still a whole lot of nothing going on. Other than strange weirdness that is either unexplainable or confusing, or, uh, otherwise uncertain. Along. Oh, finally it lets me run again, because the music turned back to normal. I guess you have to get out of the woodsman's creepy music area. But they don't like this running camera, because I can't see where I'm going. Maybe it's... maybe you're supposed to only run when you're being chased. So when it zooms out like this, you'd be able to see what's chasing you. Like the big bad wolf, which sure exists somewhere, but I haven't seen him yet. So, just gonna continue along, wandering, wandering in the woods. And there's my route again. I clearly passed where the path was, which is kind of even more confusing, because if I already passed the path, I should be back on it, but I'm not. Did I pass around behind Grandma's house or something? I really don't understand what's going on. Maybe you can't go back to the path unless you hold on to the little girl's hand. The uh, creepy woods dwelling girl. All I know is that I haven't stumbled upon anything for a while here. Just still kind of wandering aimlessly. I think I'd find it out of those sparkling flowers. There's supposed to be 144 of them. This game seems like it'd be good for people with attention deficit disorder because uh, you're told to go down the path, but there's much interesting, much more interesting things in the forest. So you just leave the path immediately and look for something shiny. See, I've clearly looped back around. I should be back on the path by now, but I'm not. So that's kind of baffling. The path vanished. Oh wait, there's one of those sparkling flowers again. So let's run over and pick it up. Since there's 144 of them and we're supposed to pick them all up. Yay, sparkling flower. <coughs> Two of a hundred and forty-four. Um, I'd kind of like to go back to the path just to change characters. Just this girl bothers me with her musings. She clearly seems out of place in the whole, uh, Little Red Riding Hood mythos here. Oh, what's this? No, that looks like the phonograph record that I was at before. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. If that little map thing would come up again and tell me my path traveled, I'm sure it would meet back up to the part where I already was. Clearly it is, because she's not interacting with it. Yep, there's the path again. 
clearly come full circle, even though I wasn't trying to. How nice. Oh, there's another sparkling flower. Let's move a little bit closer by running. You know, running pulls out the sparkling flowers. So that makes three of 144. Kind of amazed that they actually decided to put that many flowers in here for a game that supposedly has a very straightforward plot, even though there's no real indicator that there is any sort of plot. Heard another growling sort of type of noise this way. Can I just get back to the path just temporarily? I just want to switch characters. This girl really bothers me. I really like Ginger better the first time. She at least had some more cute things to say. Rather than, you know, let's booze up and party. Where's all the dudes? I wish I could swim, because if it was warmer, I could swim and show up my naked body. And yes, I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty creepy hearing me say these things when I'm not, you know, a girl. And another gasping noise. I'm pretty sure the game is only running this slow for me because I'm running all this recording software in the background that's, you know, displaying my uh, game, but I really wanted to make this a first playthrough because I think if I knew what I was doing it would be a lot less interesting, though perhaps me stumbling and bumbling around in the dark woods here without knowing what I'm doing or what's going on is probably a little bit worse. More sparkling flowers. Four of 144. We're almost there. But 140 to go. There's where the knife was. Really, this is just. I'm seriously going around in circles now. I've been here. I've picked up the knife. It's. <laughs> I can't do much of anything. I can't magically find my way back to the path because it has disappeared. In a game called The Path, you can't find the path unless you're let out by a little girl that magically knows the way even though you don't. This game makes no sense. Makes you wonder if you're actually doing anything properly. I mean, you're just stumbling around in the dark here. Quite literally. I found a hat. Well, I stole a hat from a trucker that was wearing a red and black hat, which just happened to go with my ensemble. So I decided to put it on and wear it. For what purpose? I don't know. It's just a hat. It looked good. It's to her, I guess. I mean, it's just, this game is is confusing. I'm trying to find a little girl now so that she can magically take me back to the path because I am incapable of finding it on my own even though there's a map, sort of. There's nothing out here. I haven't stumbled upon anything in a long time and that's kind of discouraging. I'm just wandering along in the woods here. No sense of direction. Girls should know to find a compass or at least find the moss on the trees. Okay. There's 